So recently there's been this trend, right? And from what I've seen, it's mostly white people. They pay this organization in Africa and they get a group of African guys to like sing and dance and wish their friends happy birthdays. And I'm gonna show y'all the videos. Y'all formulate your own response before I even say anything. Happy birthday, Ketun. Happy birthday, Ketun. Sex man, you. Sex man, you. Happy birthday, Andre! Happy birthday, Andre! We love you, big boy! We love you, big boy! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play the intro. I'm going to give y'all some time to form your own opinions before I share mine. When you go on the TikTok account and you scroll, there's video after video after video of Africans making these videos, right? There's never any other group of people. There's never like, you know, Swedish people making these videos, like Chinese people, nothing. There's always a group of Africans making these videos, right? And they're always for white people. Nobody else is buying these videos. It's always white people, okay? Now... I'ma just share my opinion with y'all. And to be fair, of course, Africans and African-Americans have different histories and different experiences. So Africans may not view this the same way as I do. But again, I'm gonna share my opinion from my perspective. Y'all can disagree with me if y'all want to, but this right here, this gives slavery vibes because for a very long time, even into the present day, white people have used black people as their entertainment. They used to like literally, like, Y'all, y'all need to watch the movie um, Mandingo. That was actually a really good movie. It was on like Amazon Prime or something. But in that movie, they were specifically like, yeah, I want a full-blooded Mandingo because I want to put him in those, you know, those fights and, and he'll win, you know? Like they literally, literally used black people for their entertainment. They would buy black people and force us to wrestle and fight against each other like animals. That was their means of entertainment, us. And when I see something like this, I can't help but get the same vibe. In fact, I'm about to read to you all from a Wikipedia page about a game called African Dodger, also known as Hit the Coon or Hit the Nigger Baby. It was a carnival game played in the United States. In the game, an African-American man would stick his head through a curtain and attempt to dodge objects such as eggs or baseballs thrown at him by players. Despite the obvious brutality of hitting someone in the head, it was a popular carnival game from the 1880s to the 1960s. The victims often suffered serious injuries. Smaller kit versions of the game were also sold to be played at home. A popular mechanics article from 1910 noted that African Dodger had become too old and commonplace and was being replaced with dunk tanks in which African Americans would fall into a tank of water when a target was hit with a ball. The illustration accompanying the article shows a game labeled Drop the Chocolate Drop and is captioned amusing to all but the victim. That's just the first example I thought of off of the top of my head. There are countless other examples. In fact, feel free to Drop some in the comments if you have any on your mind. My point is this, though. Again, like I said, Africans and African-Americans, we don't have the same history. Because while we were going through things like African Dodger in the United States, Africans weren't going through that, right? So when Africans are approached with some nonsense like this video idea from white people, they don't have the same reaction that an African-American would. If white people approach African Americans like, yo, diggity, want to make a video saying happy birthday, sexy king to some white guy and shuck and jive in it, African Americans will be like, why are you in my face? Because again, we have that history. We know exactly how white people have always gotten down. But Africans don't have that history. So they don't realize that they're actually being humiliated in the process of this. 
The other thing I observed is why exactly are the African men shirtless in every video? Like, I'm confused. I don't think it's that hot outside because they got pants on. So, like, and in addition to that, I mean, a t-shirt ain't gonna add that much heat to you, right? Like, why can't they have shirts on? But you gotta realize that, y'all, and, and this conversation gonna have to be 18 and up, okay? Because this is about to turn into an adult topic. But you gotta realize also, white people got jungle fever and y'all know what that means y'all know exactly what that means a lot of them are using this as some like erotic fantasy type thing whatever because y'all just look at how the videos are set up they talking about happy birthday sexy kissing a picture with no shirts on come on be so serious like i know i'm not the only one who see this i'm gonna take this a step further till we gonna get a little bit deeper you notice that most of these videos are for white men the vast majority are white men having their pictures kissed by these African men and, you know, being called sexy by them and stuff, right? And we have to start off with a discussion of slavery because this goes back to buck breaking during slavery. White men literally used to rape black men and some of those black men were African. Some of those men had just gotten off those ships, okay? White men literally used to rape those black men as a sign of like domination, like I'm above you. That was their way of completely breaking those men's spirits, right? And to this day, white men have a very odd obsession with black men sexually. And let me explain what I mean by that. I was on this, this website, this adult website, looking at the reviews for the toys, okay? And when you go to the toys, you can get different colored ones. You can get white ones, you can get black ones, you can get, you know, pink colored ones, whatever, right? And when you go to the black ones... I promise y'all this, go on any of those websites and do the research. When you go to the black toys, the comments are full of white men like, yeah, like I bought this toy and I used it on my wife because I have this fantasy of her fucking a black man. And it's like, what? Why would you, first of all, why would you have a fantasy of your wife having sex with any other man? But then, okay, let's, let's say you do have that fantasy. Why is it a black man specifically? Like, what? And then I tell y'all this, I, I tell y'all this, and I'm 100% serious, right? I was having a conversation with an African guy, and he was like, oh, yeah, like, this white couple approached me, and, like, the, the husband wanted to watch me while I had sex with his wife. And I was just like, what the? The video cut off, the video cut off, but I'm sure y'all got the sentiment. I was like, what? Why would why would somebody want to watch that? Like, and then like again, why is the fantasy specifically about a black man? Y'all, I'm telling y'all this obsession that you know what? I'm I'm gonna just end this video here. Somebody's gonna comment under this, talk about I'm doing too much, I'm reading too deeply into it. But no, I'm not. No, I certainly am not. The honest to God truth is that most of y'all not reading deeply enough.